I've got a fairly busy day ahead of me today. First, there's a Fuji event happening at some place. Uh, and then later on, there's a uh, Google event happening at the AGO. But first, lunch. In Impact Kitchen right now, having lunch with the street shooter, Carl Edwards. Don't make me look fat. I'll give you the MySpace angle. Do I look fat in this restaurant? No, Carl. You are fat in this restaurant. <laughs> We're at the Fujifilm Big Picture event, which is at Airship 37. Thanks, boy, baby! It's squishy. We got some squishy Astro Turf leading us to the big event. Oh, how are you, man? So we're in Airship 37 right now, and there's a uh, Fuji event happening. I'm going to take you guys around, show you a little bit of uh, what's happening here. So here we could play with all the new Fuji toys, uh, which they're releasing, if not have already released. And you can play with like, the new X100F, this new uh, medium format uh, GFX. It's kind of cool to be able to just kind of hang out and see what this stuff is all about, really. So the Fujifilm Canada launch party is all about giving the public a chance, even before it goes into retail, to touch and try this product. We do really feel that customers have to come and see the cameras for themselves. The extremely beautiful, also incredible photographing machines. This is why we have this event today. So we've got pretty much everything here, such as the new Fuji X-T20. We've got a couple GFXs lying around, you know, no big deal. We've got the Fujifilm graphite version of the X-Pro2. We have the silver X-T2 and we've got another GFX medium format Fujifilm camera. Got my hands on the new Fuji medium format GFX camera, which is heavy, but so nice. We're looking through the optical viewfinder of the new Fujifilm X100F, and when I change it, we can get into the electronic viewfinder, which is kind of neat. I'm gonna see if I can go right in front of the lens here. What are you doing? Being creative. Or something. Or something. So we're at the Fujifilm event in the distillery district. Please, more Carl. how this is being framed or how it's looking. So far it looks actually kind of cool. So right now it's getting a little bit busier. I think they've opened the doors to people other than the press. Photographers, enthusiasts, who just want to play around with like the cameras. They're all here trying things out which is actually really cool. Checking this out, waiting for fun things to happen. Oh look, look. Oh don't, matter, anti-matter. Not good. We're the not Fuji guys. I'm shooting with the Fuji, you're really? not shooting with the Fuji. No, I'm shooting with an iPhone. Double chin. <laughs> We gotta have... Look at this! Let's see it. What the hell, man? Oh, I'm 10,000 years is, old. This is gonna be like perfect like B-roll stuff. I'm gonna like insert this at the end of the video. <laughs> your your thing's very magenta. I know, I know. Is that in your camera shot? Am I in your shot? What? <laughs> well, we're having fun now. I know. Well, well, where's where's the the shot? <laughs> I was. Well, they're all That's inserted. Awesome. I know, I only learned how to use cameras now. So here we go. Wish me luck. I'm going to take one of these Fuji stickers because I really want one. So on top of cameras, you've also got ice cream. It's kind of, in a certain way, a little bit more important than cameras. But to have ice cream and cameras in the same venue is always a good thing. So what do we got going on here? Okay, so we have an Earl Grey ice cream. It's topped with a shortbread crumble topping. And it has a mini cone that's handmade. Awesome. I feel like I was like shouting at you though. I was like, So we've literally got some cool cameras. Yes, puns are always intended. We're gonna add some water to this. Look at that. This is an actual ice block, you guys. This is actually pretty cool. Yes, I said cool too many times already. So Billy is just kind of watering down the cameras because that's naturally what you do. So 
as a disclaimer, I'm not being paid at all by Fuji to be here to cover any part of this event. I'm here as a guest, really. I just want to see what's kind of going on, meet new people. So we're here with, I didn't catch your name. My name is Mark. Mark? We're here with Mark. We're at the Fuji event. He's got a... Uh... The reason why I'd like to upgrade from the X-T10 to the X-T2 is because of weather sealing. This thing's done pretty well. I spilled two glasses of water and a shot of tequila on the thing, and it still works somehow. I really, I like the processor on the X-T2 a lot yeah. better. It's a good upgrade. That's cool. Awesome. I've never been to one of these things before, and so I just really wanted to like bring you guys along with me as uh, we check out all the kind of cool things that are happening today. Even if you're not in the market to, to buy anything, it's always kind of neat just to be able to like know what's available so that if you kind of come into a situation where your gear isn't performing the way you want it to, that you can at least know that there is something out there that can fill in the void if you need something in particular. So if there's one camera that I'm kind of excited to check out, it's this guy right here. It's the uh, Fuji X100F. I've always been really interested in this type of camera just because it's got like the eyepiece right here, which is great when it comes to street shooting because that means when you have your eye here, you can have your other eye theoretically around here. You can kind of watch as people kind of come into your frame with your natural eye and you can have a better idea as to like how to anticipate the shot when the viewfinder is off to the side like this. I've got the X-T2 where the viewfinder is right in the middle and sometimes that can get a little bit annoying, especially with like the nose prints that appear onto the glass itself. So another thing I wanted to kind of get across is that what's better than new gear is knowing how to use your gear. When it comes to photography and when it comes to cameras, having new gear is absolutely fun and it's great. And it's it's great to be excited about like new stuff. I mean, whenever I get a new camera, obviously the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna shoot a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna totally enjoy myself. Some degree, it's a great motivation to get out there and shoot. The camera is only as good as you are so remember that when it comes to gear, the more that you know your camera, the better your photography will be. Knowing how it functions under certain lighting situations, uh, knowing exactly what your focal length is like, even before you even take a picture, is huge when it comes to this sort of thing. I'm so happy to see some of the regular faces as well as some new ones at a great event. So great, we called it the big event. Fujifilm was originally founded in 1934. Of course, at every single one of these types of events, there is going to be the photographer and model with the professional lights to give a professional look as to how to use these cameras. Hey Kyle, what did you think of that? I liked it. It was much better than Cats. I'm going to see it again and again. Is it on? Is it working? <laughs> Taking a break from shooting, getting some ice cream, cameras, and ice cream. Cameras, and ice cream. Cameras, and ice cream. I'll take a picture with my glasses on. I look like a professor from Gilligan's Island. That's maybe what people want, right? What, me to look like a professor? <laughs> Shh, quiet. Oh, it's so quiet.